Hey guys, I am doing a repeating decimal to a fraction, okay? If you need some other examples, like where there's not a number here where it's just a zero, um, or some other, like, anyways, if you just need other examples of repeating decimals, I will link um, some videos, okay? So check those out if you need to. But let's go ahead and figure out this guy. So this line above the sevens here means that the sevens just keep going, okay? It's 3.7777, literally forever. Okay. Um, that's why we have that line above there. So our normal ways of turning a decimal to a fraction aren't going to work because it, it goes on forever. It really does. But there is still a way somebody very smart figured out to do it. And it's not too tricky. Okay. How we start out first is we set our number here equal to a variable. Okay. So X equals three point seven seven repeating okay now what we're going to do next hang with me if you're like why is she doing that we're going to multiply both sides by 10 okay now as long as i multiply both sides i'm okay my equation still stays stays true okay um and this is just a strategy that someone figured out to figure out the um, fraction. Okay. So I'm not just like pulling this out of nowhere. It's just a, an awesome strategy. Someone figured out. So 10 times X, excuse me, 10 X. And that is equal to when I multiply, um, a decimal by 10, it just moves my decimal over one place. Okay. So I'm left here with 37.7 repeating. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to subtract X from both sides. Okay. And I will show you what that does. So I'm subtracting X from both sides, but remember what did I say in the beginning or what did we set X equal to? We set it equal to 3.77 repeating. Okay. So X is 3.77 repeating. So we can write it either way and it's still X. So I'm going to write minus X here on this side. I'm going to write minus 3.77 repeating. Okay. But in this equation, they're the same thing. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. So now I'm going to do that subtraction. So 10 X minus X gives me nine X. Okay. And that is equal to 37.7 repeating minus 3.7 repeating. Now I could write another seven here. It, the sevens keeps going. So it doesn't matter if I wrote one or two, um, but my seven repeatings are gone. I don't know if that was proper English, but those are gone, right? They're subtracted. So then we're left with the 37 minus three, which gives me 34. And is this a lot less scary or what? Now it's just, you've probably solved things like this a million times, just solving for X. So I'm going to divide by nine on both sides. Okay, um, so I'm left with X equals 34 ninths, okay? That is our fraction, um, but a lot of times teachers like it to be converted to a mixed number, right? Um, and so when I do that, nine goes into 34 three times, right? And I have seven left over. So that is my three and seven nights. If you're like, how did she just convert that? I'll link a video. Um, but always, 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 I love to say this, guys. One of the things I love about math is you. there's usually a way to check yourself. So um, plug this into your calculator, 34 divided by 9, and make sure you get 3.7 repeating, okay? Your calculator can't have it go on forever, so it'll probably round it, but you get the idea. Okay. Hopefully that made sense and you can get your homework done. Bye.